Hello, this is David Sullivan for Chess NYC. Today we're going to talk about the rook. This is a rook. Each, each side in a game of chess begins with rooks in the corners. If you look at a, pa a picture of an old castle in Europe, you'll see on the corner they have rooks. Uh, and through these little slits, there'd be like guys shooting crossbows down at enemies back in the olden days. But in chess, the rook is actually the easiest piece to learn. Rooks move up, down, and sideways. They capture who they land on. If there's a white rook here and a black rook here and another black rook here, the white rook can capture the black rook and the black rook can capture back. Rooks can go up, they can go down, they can go sideways. A rook can move as little, one square, or as far as the board allows, or until it either runs into one of its own pieces, in which case it is blocked from moving, or runs into an opponent's piece, in which case he can land on it, capturing that piece. If, let's say, white has a rook here, and black has a rook here, and black has a rook here, the white rook could move all the way down here, landing on capturing the black rook, but then this black rook move all the way down the board, capturing the white rook. That is how we use a rook in chess.